all right so let's get started so i already cut out my paper that's your cardboard that's what you're going to use but this is not the normal cardboard but you can use your normal cardboard so let's measure this this our paper measures 11 inches from here to here is 11 inches and then turning it from this end to this end is five and a half inches so that is what you're going to cut that's the size of paper you're going to cut to make your pencil case okay so now we are going to start the measurement you line your ruler up with your paper at the five and a half inches part move it down slightly so you can have space for measuring so now i'm going to mark at half an inch okay after that half an inch i will add one inch to that half an inch which will give me one and half this is one and half here i'll mark it too then i will add um one and half inch I hope i'm not confusing you the first one is half the half of an inch after that half of an inch you add one inch that's half one then one and half half inch which i've already marked then adding one inch to that half inch we have one and half here now i will now add one and half inch to this one and a half inch which will now give us three inches if you know your math very well it comes into play here then after that we are not going to add two inches no this is not quantitative reasoning nope we are now going to add one inch like we're not going back down you know we started with half inch one one and a half now we're not going to start going down no decreasing the number we now mark at one inch okay actually that is all that is all the mark i'm going to do just that one inch and then we'll stop that's for the top here now these measurements we did here will now repeat the same thing just move your paper up don't turn it like this no as you mark like this just move your paper up okay if you turn it you're going to miss it you don't want to miss it trust me so you just move it up and then lining your ruler you can see i line it up there's no space i'll just add, i'll then move the ruler up a little so i can have space to put my pencil marks so remember the first mark we did was what <clears throat> excuse me half an inch We'll mark it here half an inch then <clears throat> excuse me after half an inch what next we add one inch which now give make it one and half inches we we'll mark it here and after that we now added one and half inches which gave us three inches now now start going down again we'll now mark we'll add one inch to the three inches to be four inches that is where we'll stop for the markings on this side so what we will do next is to now join the markings top and bottom we will join them using our pen our ruler and pencil we will join it i'm lining my ruler up to join each point that we made so it's going to give us a very straight and perfect box now to the next one which is the one inch line it up and then draw your pencil and then move to the next one which is the plus one and a half right okay draw your pencil and then after that they do the last marking that we did on this long side join it 
okay so i don't know if you can see the lines can see the lines faintly right i'm sorry this i, I should have used white but i don't have white cardboard okay so just manage this with me so now the next thing that i will do now is to turn my paper you can turn it whichever way you like okay but once you turn it you know that one part is going to be the top the other part is going to be the bottom so let me turn it like this now just as we did the measurement be able to get these straight lines we'll now repeat the same thing but with different measurements okay so i am lining my ruler up it's properly lined up it's on 11 inches move it down a little so i can have space to put my pencil markings now the first one that i'm going to do is one and half i'm going that that is the basic measurement for this particular pencil case okay one and half I'll mark my one and half it's not the marking is not like the first one we did this one is totally different okay but the same paper one and half and then we'll jump all the way to nine mark nine okay nine inches and then I will now add one and half from nine adding one and half give me ten and half i will mark it here don't mind my very short pencil i like it one and half okay so now this measurement we did here will now repeat the same thing down here remember don't turn okay until you are done with top and bottom so now i am done with this measurement up here now come down here and repeat the same measurement I did here for the lower part. Lining my ruler to the paper, then moving it up a little so I can have space to put my markings. I will mark at one and a half, then jump to nine, mark at nine, and then mark at ten and half. You can write down these measurements, okay? I will write them down and post to the group, the measurements, okay? So, it will be easy for you to do whenever you want to make it next time, so you keep it somewhere properly. So, now, just as we joined these lines, the long ones, we will now join these ones too. I'm lining my ruler up, and then joining point to point and then moving to nine inches mark that we made and then join it then move to the last one which is the third line that we made here and join it now for now we are done with our pencil and ruler so i will set it aside now the next thing that we are going to do is to fold on all the pencil lines that we did this is very tricky okay but you have to be very careful when you are doing it you have to fold it over the other way and then using your pencil as guide can you see what i'm doing just press it down following the pencil line okay just pinch it pinch it until it is good now you will now have to take your um you need to get something maybe um your plastic cup okay let's use your plastic cup this is what i'm going to use you now use it to press your paper down very well you press it very let it be as flat as possible okay let it be as flat as possible but for me i have a tool that i use for making my papers flat this is not flat enough you can see it is still raising hmm? it's still raising it's not flat enough it's still curvy so i will bring in my tool now this tool is called a bone folder 
because it makes the paper to have that like uh, a very sharp look like this you can see let me show you the difference and if you can see the difference this is flatter than this side that is how i do it you can see it's now flat you can see right let's be as flat as possible so now this is what we are going to do on all the lines so i've done this line you can see after i raised it the line is now showing very visibly you need to make all the lines to show like this so we we'll now go to the next one fold following the pencil line that we made mm -hmm. and then we use anything that you are using to make it very flat you can see you can see this line and this line here now now we now fold this one carefully okay now really you don't want to be squeezing your paper up and down so you can have a very neat and finished work then you fold you press down properly you can see we now have the three lines that we made the three lines that we made are now showing very well now let us do the longer ones fold very carefully okay you can see the way i'm doing it using this hand to bend the paper and then using this hand to guide it to fold on that particular pencil line okay and then you place it down on a flat surface please use a flat surface if not it will not come out well can use your dining table or even the floor yes the floor is perfect you can see the line now we have one two three more lines to go let's go okay you can see using this hand to fold the paper down then using this one to now guide where i want the paper to fold properly like that and then put down this is called creasing in the art of craft creasing i will spell it out and let you guys know the spelling so on to the next line and that and then drop and crease as i said this is called creasing because this these lines are called crease lines that is what they are called okay now the last line wow we are almost done my pencil box is almost ready Ooh. okay i would really like to see uh ex you know the ones you make samples that you make i would so love to see them Hmm? so you can tell your mommy and your daddy to post it on facebook okay and then tag me i will drop my name on facebook all right so these are all the score lines done now you can easily fold them you know but then so this is going this is flat right this will bend this will come like this okay and then this one we enter under here you can see right okay now we are going to make use of our scissors yes scissors okay so what we are going to do next okay let, let, let's even let's do this together since this is put it like this already where this is going to join to this place this small one is going inside so this will come over it not like this if not this line will be showing we don't want this line to show we want this to line up here so no okay this is where it's it's joined together okay so this is the top of the box this is the bottom of the box so let us start with the bottom of the box with the cutting 
what we are going to do is to separate them you see all these crease lines one two three four we will cut from bottom to where this crease line is in the same as in the center you can see right and then second one very careful not to cause not, not not to cut over okay you can tell you if you can't do it you can tell someone older to help you cut it and when you are cutting please mind your finger at the back of it so you don't cut yourself okay please be very careful sorry okay and then cut this stopping at that line so now let's see if our box is making sense okay well this is an extra piece we don't need this now let me show you one of my tricks we are going to remove this smallest size you can see of all the shapes we have here, this is the smallest we are going to remove this one completely now see this see this crease line we will remove it as well cutting at the lower part of the crease line you can see it fell off by itself yeah all right now okay let's see if our box is uh this is the bottom part remember okay so this will go in like this this will go in like this okay it will go but this cannot go you can see it cannot go so we need to cut out uh half an inch from this one because this from here to here is one and half from here to here is one inch so we need to remove half an inch from this part so remember okay let me fold this back we folded this and folded this right so it is these two opposite ones the two big the two big ones are the ones that we are cutting so we'll fold these two in like this okay line it down we'll bring okay you can use your scissors sorry i'm used to using a ruler and just okay no we need to measure it really we shouldn't just cut like that so we have a perfect and clean finish line this ruler up to this crease line you measure you mark one inch up here and one inch down here and then join the line okay then do the same thing on this part one inch one inch hmm. sorry i'm trying to fix the ruler okay all right so that is it now what we are going to do next we set our pencil and ruler aside okay we are not going to fold these ones there's no need we are going to cut under the pencil line as much as you can okay not on top of the pencil line but a little bit under the pencil line as much as as in as little okay can see i don't know if you can see my pencil mark so do the same thing here that is it now let's see okay now these ones that we folded are now longer than these ones you can see right that's how it should be so let's fold this over and see what we have folding this down and folding this down you can see 
Yay! Perfect. But you can either do it like this or, or you fold this down first, fold this over and then use this to cover it so that it can, you know, fit well. Anyhow you want to do it now, you, you can do it. So don't, don't glue this yet. Leave this as it is. Now this is the top. Okay, this is the top part. Now for this journey to be here, that means this longer part is the back of our pencil box okay and here is the front so now for the front we are going to remove one two as the ones I, I touched one two completely so let's remove this one let's hold it and then open the box up okay so this is what we are removing completely following the lines I'm not, I'm not going to cut from here to here, no, but from here to the second line. Okay. Yes, there, there it is. And then we'll come here and do the same thing. Okay, so now how do we remove this one? This is it. We we'll fold this over. Okay. Fold this over. Holding it as much as you can. And then cut along this crease line in the center of the crease line. Just take your time. Don't rush it when you're doing it, okay? okay it's still hanging just pull it out all right okay so now let's fold our box and see what we have all right so it's coming into shape but when we are now the next thing we'll do is to separate this and this so that's the two remaining journey lines so we'll cut from this point to this second line. I hope you can see what I'm doing. You can see now this one can fold properly. Okay, still a little bit more. Okay, now it's folding properly. Now we'll come here and then cut from here to here. Let's fold our box and let's see how it's coming together. Okay, so now this one is a lazy piece we don't need. So I'm going to remove this one completely. The smallest one. Remember, we removed it from here also. So remember how I removed this one, right? Do the same thing for here, removing the crease line. Okay, let me come here and cut it off. All right. Okay, so now let's fold again and see. Always fold to check what you are doing. Yes, it is good. Okay, so now this. Hmm. Okay. So now there is um a small something we need to do this is too long this is too long so what we are going to do is we are going to cut this small part and this one off completely let's do that removing the line okay and this one but not the big one only the two small ones okay now let's assemble and see okay so this is closing and this is closing and then this one hmm okay now we need to remove 
this one completely okay okay but how would this one now hang like this here's the trick you open it up bring in your pencil and your ruler you line it up on this big section fold this in so you don't get confused okay and then measure one inch up and down and then join the line join the, the the two points that we made up and down okay now set our ruler and pencil aside and then fold and then whatever it is i use to make your your folding flat you do that okay our box is uh, almost ready so let's assemble and see let me start with the bottom part I fold this in I like to start with this smaller one fold this in and then fold this over and fold this over okay so there it is so it's already folding in <laughs> fold this in fold this in and tuck this inside but hey it is not going inside it's not going so what do we do very easy this this one this short part here you take your scissors and cut a very small triangle from here to this point like this you can see right and then repeat the same thing on this side a small triangle you just turn turn the root the, the scissors and cut you can see the shape we have right okay so let's see if it's going to enter now yay it's entered okay now but how do i open this after i have glued this let's do something let me open this but you see the way it was not easy to open this one here that is uh that is that does not have any flap you will take your bottle cover hmm? any bottle cover at all that you have i'll be using this one okay you just turn it over and place it small not completely not halfway but just a little like this try to aim at let it be in the center of this one and then use your pencil and draw like this okay so we are done with our our bottle cover so now we're going to cut this shape out it is easy you fold these ones in Fold this in and then fold this over like that. So it's too busy for it to hold. Hold, hold it very well. Let's so it doesn't move. Okay. Then you gently cut. Okay. This one we are going to end up cutting this. So this one should not fold over. Should raise this. Fold this over. If your hand cannot hold it, let your mommy. Or your own or your aunt or your uncle anyone that has big hands mm, to hold it for you then you cut along that pencil mark carefully okay you can see it's only this one that i'm cutting carefully carefully as carefully as possible just go slowly don't rush it okay don't rush it there it is yes it is bent but don't worry we will straighten it out 
so what you do now is to place your paper down make sure that it is use anything you can use to straighten it out i'm going to use this my bone folder to straighten it out and then just smoothen it out that is it okay so now by the time our box is assembled this one is closed 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 and easily push this in and then to open it it's easy just lift this right now let us assemble our pencil box yay i'm excited all right so you can use your paper glue but this is the glue that i have it's whitish okay so you apply your glue okay okay so you apply your glue don't let it be too much okay so i'll just apply and then use my finger to spread this out but since you are using the normal paper glue it will spread it out for you okay okay so now i will fold on this second one like this okay and then bring this one lining this edge part to this folded part okay sorry on this folded part sorry this folded part where the glue stopped have to work quickly before it dries up before it dries up okay so there we are then you fold it light down you can see it's flat then you take whatever it is that you are using to flatten your paper to flatten this side and this side so this is a, a fold flat yeah pencil fold so you can easily keep it you can use this for your birthdays or gift it out to a friend you know yes you can just put your pencil so i will allow this to dry because the the type of glue i use does not dry quickly unlike the normal paper glue it dries very quickly okay so well not very quick but quicker than this glue that i use fold it and now this that i'm doing is called creasing as well okay you make sure that it dries very well okay and then you leave it aside to dry leave for like 30 minutes after 30 minutes you can now come back to it and assemble your box you can either leave it out well you can't leave it out flat sorry this type cannot be left out flat because just have to assemble it so now to assemble this i will fold this in don't worry it went inside don't worry when you put your pencil to push it in or better still let me bring it out it's better not to allow it to go in uh -uh. Hmm? it's normal okay let's set these ones over like this okay you can see it's covered it properly and then apply glue okay you apply your glue And then fold this one over it lining it up like that clean out any excess glue okay now you fold you stand this and then using your ruler use it to press 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 inside okay but i can use this one it's long enough yes so just press 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 
you can see it's glued already now let us look for where our box joint this is where my box joint see this is where my box joint remember this is the back and this is the front so now since this is the back we're going to fold this one over first so apply our glue not too much and then fold this over and then stand it and press from the inside okay press 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 <laughs> okay all right hmm see the glue oozing out to clean it okay you clean any glue that is coming out now this is the last one that will fold over you know we, we are not going to apply glue here but here because folding it over you can see there is still a little space here okay we don't want glue showing here so we'll apply our glue on this side and then fold over stand and press 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 okay all right it's all done you can see so our pencil case is ready just fold this over fold this over and push this in Tada! our pencil case is ready so now let me do let me do a sample right i assume you want to give this actually give this out as a birthday gift you know yes you can you can let me bring my pencil don't mind mine this is my long pencil hmm? put our, our pencil inside yeah it's entered perfectly well now assuming that you have uh sweets you know and chewing gum chocolate i have this sweet i'll throw it inside if you have eraser can throw it inside my own eraser is this type of eraser that i have can throw it inside okay and any other thing that you want to put even biro can take your biro throw it inside okay so and um let's see no, nothing any other thing you want to put inside throw it inside cover it close and your pencil the pencil box is ready yay all right all right so this is how to make your own pencil case okay you can make this one you can get like um let me say 10 of this from one cardboard paper okay so you can easily make this for your if your birthday is coming up or your auntie's birthday or your friend's birthday you can make this as much as you can and gift it out you know i hope you guys enjoyed the class thank you guys